Hey creatives, do you love bullet journaling, but you also love your iPad Pro and want to bullet journal on there? Today I'm going to show you two apps that have built-in features that are going to allow you to start bullet journaling right away. Just to be clear, this is not a lesson on how to bullet journal, just which apps you can use to get you started and have the right format laid out for you. I have five different apps that I use for note taking that you could also use for bullet journaling. Now the first two have some built in pages that I think will get you started. That's Note Shelf 2 and Good Notes. And let's, let me just show you those. So Note Shelf 2 is probably the most versatile. If we go over here and we create a new notebook and let's not worry about what we title it. And inside here, it has defaulted to dot grid. I think I was using that before. Um, so I could just start writing right away. So I could make my to-do list. Or if I want to change this from dot grid to something else, I can go over here to add and say new page from template. And if I go to basic, I see that I can do just a plain white page. Nothing on it. I can also do a ruled page that just has regular lines on it. I can do a checked page, which is really a graph paper page. So if that's kind of the base page I like to start with for bullet journaling. And of course, we'll skip legal, but uh, we can do dotted like we saw before. So this is probably, I would say, Note Shelf 2 has all of those pages already built in for you. If you use Good Notes, it does have line pages. So if we go over here to Create Notebook, and let's pick this cover, even though it's kind of hideous. Um, <laughs> and over here, if we go ahead and we add a new page, so um, add page below. And if I go to Essentials, I'm going to see that I have ruled paper and I have graph paper. And obviously I have plain paper where it's just empty. Um, if I go to, let's show you the ruled paper. So it has lines, or I can do this, the graph paper. Now, it does not have dot grids. It's the only thing that's missing from this app. That was good notes, so you'd still have to import that in. Now the other ones, Procreate, Adobe Sketch, and Paper 53, don't have any of those presets built in there. And what you need to do is create those pages instead and import them as a PDF or JPEG. So if you want to learn how to do that, watch lesson number two of bullet journaling, which will be out next week. I hope you found that useful and I hope to see you back in part two where we are going to start creating our own bullet journal pages using Adobe InDesign. So you can pull those pages up on your iPad Pro or you can print them out as printables. Now, if you are interested in making your own planner from scratch, then make sure to look into Planner 101 that walks you all the way through from beginning to end on everything you need to know. And that course is free and I will leave a link to that below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Bye.